Hey, pet parents and mushroom lovers everywhere. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite mushrooms, Cordyceps, Cordyceps militaris. Now, Cordyceps is a very unusual mushroom. All of the other medicinal mushrooms that I've spoken with you about are members of the phylum Basidiomycetes. The Cordyceps is an entirely different um, phylum of mushroom called Ascomycetes. Now, too much tactical, I know, but the interesting thing is that the other ascomycetes, other than cordyceps, are some very tasty edible mushrooms. I'm sure you've heard of morels and truffles. Well, cordyceps, actually, amazingly, is quite, quite flavorful. It's, to me, I think it smells a little bit like toast. And this brings up the problem that we see with our feline friends because of their reluctance to accept strange tasting things, new strange tasting things in their food. So I think that cordyceps would be ideal for giving to cats for a variety of reasons. And I'll explain to you why I think cordyceps is so good, not just for cats, but for all of us, because it does taste reasonably well. And cats, most cats that I've given it to have accepted it quite well. Now, the neat thing about cordyceps is that we know that it helps to support kidney function and liver function. And we know that in cats, we oftentimes will see them develop problems with their kidneys. I think that cordyceps given early on could help to provide some support for the kidneys to perhaps prevent what might happen as they get older. We find that there's a good support for aging with cordyceps, but because it also um, supports the lungs, when we have a condition such as asthma, and I'm not suggesting that you use this for asthma, but if we have a condition such as asthma, this is an imbalance, according to Chinese medicine, between the kidney and the lung. Cordyceps is indicated for that, at least, you know, in Chinese medicine. So, um, let me tell you a little more about cordyceps. One of the unusual things about the cordyceps species, the cordyceps genus, is that they, the spores of the fungus will infect insects. And cordyceps itself is known to grow its mycelium inside a caterpillar. And when the mycelium is ready to send up its fruiting body, its mushroom, then it comes up out of the caterpillar itself. It's very weird looking. Now, the cordyceps that we provide through real mushrooms does not, it's not grown in caterpillars, so don't worry about that, although who knows, maybe it's quite tasty in caterpillars as well. We grow it on rice. Now, there's no rice in our cordyceps extract. Uh, there's no grains at all in any real mushrooms extracts. Um, so we will harvest it without harvesting it, without harvesting the rice as well. This is makes it USDA organically certified, and you don't have to worry about getting any grain carbohydrates into your pan. One of the reasons why I like cordyceps for myself, but also why I like it for my patients, especially those that are involved in um, agility or some kind of competition or performance, because it gives them energy, it gives them stamina. But the energy and the stamina come with focus. It's not just, you know, all kinds of energy, you're all scattered. It's actually very focused energy. And this is one reason why cordyceps is a favorite of athletes to use to help them with their athletic um, performances. So um, for dogs that are in agility or search and rescue, or just your dog that likes to go hiking for you, um, bringing some cordyceps along could be a great way to help them keep up with you because I know you're probably way out, out stripping their activity. We now have cordyceps available, real mushrooms does, in pet-sized capsules. Um, 300 milligrams of cordyceps extract per capsule, 120 capsules per bottle. This makes it very easy to medicate your pet. If, you're, if they're not accepting this in their food, you can certainly give it to them as a capsule, perhaps with a pill pocket or a little bit of food to induce them to take it down. But because it is so good tasting, you can also open a capsule and sprinkle it in the food. Now, if you've got an animal who's picky about what they're 
about new things that they're tasting, then start with a very, very small amount and put it on some food that's very tasty to them that they rarely ever refuse. And gradually, over a period of a couple of days or a week, keep increasing the amount of that capsule you're sprinkling in there until you can get them up to the full amount that they should be getting for their weight and for their condition. Um, every bottle of the pet labeled cordyceps has um, instructions for administration to pets based on weight. So um, check that out. And let me show you these, the cordyceps a little bit because you know, you're usually used to seeing mushrooms that look like mushrooms, but look at this. These are like, these are the, the, the really the stem of the mushroom and at the very top is where we have the spores that are released. Once the spores are released, they'll infect a caterpillar. Some other species will actually infect ants. And once the insect is infected, it's a goner. And then that's how the mushroom propagates itself. Each capsule of cordyceps contains 75 milligrams of beta-glucans. We're suggesting that you give, oh, for a wellness dose, maybe one milligram of beta-glucans per pound of body weight. Well, that would be about a set, a one capsule a day for a 75 pound animal. That's just baseline wellness levels. As we start to look at addressing more serious situations, we increase the amount that we give the based on the beta-glucans per pound of body weight. So for instance, you know, let's say your dog needs some support for its microbiome. Well, we'd want to give probably a moderate amount, let's say maybe two and a half milligrams per pound of body weight. So if you have a 25 pound dog, that would be about a little less than a full capsule. Well, it's very forgiving. I would just give a full capsule in that regards. I recently saw an article in, um, the Innovative Veterinary um, Care um, about adrenal fatigue. And it said that adrenal fatigue is a real thing. It's a legitimate thing that we see in our animals. They get exhausted from stress. They get exhausted from, from overwork. Their adrenals get depleted. Cordyceps is a great answer for the the energy deficit that we see with adrenal fatigue. Other applications for cordyceps include helping the liver to detoxify. It also has been shown to be supportive of the cardiovascular system. It, like many mushrooms, also has the ability to, uh, to reduce lipids and cholesterol, you know, that are from, uh, from dietary sources. So overall, I think cordyceps is a great mushroom to become, to become familiar with, something perhaps you might want to take if you're going to be hiking with your dog and share one with your dog as well. Um, for your cat, certainly the palatability of cordyceps is very good for cats. Comparable, I would say, to lion's mane. Those are probably the two best feline-friendly mushrooms. If you have horses, cordyceps could also be an excellent mushroom to use. Horses, as you know, they're all lungs and legs, and because cordyceps supports the lungs and supports the legs through helping to generate more ATP-like energy, it's a great mushroom to consider using for your horse, your performance horse, or even just your backyard horse to improve their overall um, performance. So, and it's very palatable for horses as well, no problems at all. And we dose our horses the same way that we dose our dogs and cats. We just give them more because they're heavier. 